And we're back with more Everlasting Summer. So, uh, now that we're at day four, uh, we have the shirt problem. But a uh, few things that's going to obviously happen here as well. We're going to be doing some more uh, of those day four type of choices. Uh, so, yeah, to get prepared. But at least I kind of prepared myself compared to the first time where I didn't exactly know where to go. So, I kind of know where to go for it. Let's at least, so for now, let's uh, continue. Ten minutes later, I stood outside Oga's Dimitrinov's cabin, deciding where to go. <clears throat> and this is what I'm talking about. So, uh, last time, as I mentioned, there were day, you had a day two, you had similar choices like this, and then day four came around. Uh, both of them kind of threw me off at certain points. Uh... But there was something I didn't really notice the first time that I came in here. For some reason, some of these places were not highlighted, which was a little bit odd and weird on that. Not really sure what it was. So when I reloaded up the save and came in, then they were on for some reason. It's like uh, maybe it was some type of glitch. Not really sure what it was, but yeah. You notice this little gray, these uh, places that are gray. Well, there's a small little door right here. Uh, you see two character faces. <coughs> I did not notice this was a place to go. Well, originally in Slavia's, when I was doing Slavia's thing, I didn't even notice this. Like, right? It's like, because it's so tiny, it's like you could easily miss it kind of thing. Like, I saw the forest, you know, the bus stop, and then these other places, but this one I could not make out. So it's kind of weird, you know. Uh, but we're not going to go there this time, so we are going to the boathouse. These other choices say after you pick the first selection, it doesn't really matter where you go. But we're just going to do that because this has to do with Alyssa. Maybe sure uh, decided to pick up uh, stones near the water. In the worst case, I'll find his corpse. <laughs> My goodness. But I'm sure that it won't end up that way. You never know. I was crossing the square when somebody called out to me. Wait. Alyssa came up and smiled. Oh boy. I immediately sensed the trap. You always sense that with her, don't you? Where are you going? I'm searching for sure. Olga asked me to. <clears throat> and how is it? Exciting. She looked intently into my eyes and I turned away awkwardly. Not really. But, you know, a pioneer is missing. Surely you're not freaking out over such a minor thing. What do you mean? Only a few hours have passed. Maybe you just lost track of time while having a walk. It's pretty clear that she doesn't really know much about Shurik either. She doesn't, she doesn't really interact too much with them, if you ever notice. She's kind of usually off doing her own thing. Uh... You know, so I can kind of see that. I've noticed that Shurik is the punctual type of person. That guy is rarely ever misses anything. So the fact that, you know, he ends up where he goes uh, is still kind of a mystery to me how he got there. My guess is he was lured there. Uh, he probably he probably did like what Sebya did. He followed the voice, right? Probably got lost somewhere. It's like something's calling out to me. I need to go investigate because I think... Uh, he had mentioned why he went there. Something about he was going to get something for uh, making something. But how would he know to end up at that place of all places? So it's it's kind of interesting how he, how he ended up there. It's kind of funny. Certainly, yeah, I'd had the same idea, but I wasn't telling her that. <laughs> yeah, that's true. But who knows what could have happened. Let me help you with it. Mm, with what? I got suspicious. What looking for shark? Oh, but I can do it. Oh, come on. She smiled at me, but there was something malevolent in that smile. That's like a seductress kind of look. It's like, you know, she's got she's got her shirt tied up because Olga's not around. You ain't noticing she's got some type of attention there. I don't know. <laughs> no. Just kidding, no. Naturally, her smile was cute enough, but it really seemed to me like there was something behind it. <laughs> well, if you insist. Since I could not understand what's on her mind, I had no reason to refuse. Then why are you doing it anyway? My guessing is 
This this get up is probably distracting you, ain't it? You probably just said, yeah, let's go. <laughs> but before we go, I have to get one thing from home. Okay, I'll wait for you. You're actually serious about just standing there. Let's go. <laughs> okay. Good oh boy. How's this gonna go? We approach Alyssa's cabin. It would be just like all the other cabins, if not for the Jolly Ranger. Jolly Roger on the door. Jolly Roger. You talking about this little symbol right here? I don't know, I can barely make out kind of thing. It looks like a bat. It looks like the Batman symbol. I'm just kidding. I don't know what it is. <laughs> By the way, Eliona is my roommate. Oh, wow. Okay. We entered the cabin. Now, after you telling me that, it makes me curious of what's going on in here. So let me guess. Which bed is whose? Like, I'm going to guess. I, I don't know. Like, uh... Okay, this side, okay, I see the helmet, so this bed's got to be Oyana's over here. This stuff definitely gives away Alyssa over here, these rock posters. It's got to be because, uh, although you never know. I mean, maybe Alyssa might, I mean, maybe Oyana might like the same music. I don't know. It's hard to say. But since she's kind of does sports and whatnot, you know, soccer, you got to figure, like, uh, you see helmets and you see, like, I don't know, a few things over there. That's got to be Ilyana. Got to be. <laughs> and yeah, their, their room definitely reminds me of mine. So like, I could kind of relate to these two. Because it's like, uh, I bet Olga probably has to come in. It's like, hey, get your rooms cleaned up. My room is fine the way it is. In fact, I can find more stuff when my room is not fully clean than when it is clean. It's like, you ever, know that, you ever do that, right? It's like, you're looking for something. After you clean something up after a while, you put everything away, right? Uh, what happens when you go to search for it? It's like, where the hell did I put that glass? You know, it's like, I can't find it. It's like, weird how that works, you know? The complete chaos aside really reminded me of my old flat. Though, why I thought of it as old. I don't know. In general, I would imagine a girl's room differently. Snow white, sheets, walls, floor, and ceiling shininess. Shiny, spotless. But when you consider that the two most exemplary pioneers are living here, we just stood silently for some time. <laughs> and what did you need to get? Huh? Seems like I interrupted Alyssa's thinking. <laughs> yeah. It's not here, actually. Wait here. I'll be back in a minute. Oh, boy. She smiled and ran out. <laughs> she seems uh, really flaky today. I began to examine the room. <laughs> I would say that there hadn't been an explosion. It was just a decent mess. I mean, my room's about similar, honestly. I, I could say that. It's like, it's not like, yeah, you see things under the bed. I I'm kind of like that a little bit. Although, in my case, you wouldn't really see it since it's like, my bed kind of goes down lower. So it's like, I can put things under there. You wouldn't even really notice it most of the time. It just depends, you know. I usually keep my games and whatnot, it's like, it's a, depending on the game, you know, under the bed. But then, games I'm not playing, I usually keep in my, like, closet and whatnot, so, yeah. Well, at least by looking at all this mess created in one pioneer session, I can surely say that I'm not the messiest person in the world. Uh, the thing about me is, I'm definitely not a neat freak type person. Like, I get that there are people like that out there, but I don't, I don't get how some people could fuss over like, like a little insignificant crumb on the floor kind of thing. It's like, uh, uh, what's the big deal? We're not in some type of perfection. What are you trying? What are you? Who are you trying to impress? You know, kind of thing. I always say it's like it needs to be clean. Uh, I'm, it's clean. Like, get that crumb off. You know what I mean? Like, some people spot just a, just a little itty-bitty thing. It's like, uh, it's clean, damn it. It's like, it'll track, it'll track bugs or something. Uh, it's good. <laughs> I wasn't thinking about anything in particular. We just, was just looking around the room. <laughs> Posters of Soviet artists, some books on the shelves, various household items. And then I realized that everything is wrong. Same thing will happen soon. Something bad. Okay. 
Why did Alyssa leave me here all alone? She went to go get something, didn't she? There was something I had to discover. Okay. My gut told me that it's dangerous to stay here. Why? Because you're in a girl's room? I went to the door and tried to open it. Oh, boy. How's this going to go? Locked. Oh, no. Is she locking bed? <laughs> what a surprise. How did she manage to quietly lock me in? I have no idea, but she's trying to kidnap you for her own pleasure. <laughs> she is a sneaky one. I won't say that. I don't know what's on her mind, but I need to get out of here. I mean, I can kind of understand why he's thinking that. Probably freaking out, but she's, I don't know. This girl is something else, though. This I should say. I went to the window, opened it, and climbed out. My goodness. She did lock him in there, didn't she? Now I can go take care of uh, business. Or <laughs> I chose the second option and waited. What is the reason she had me locked up? Maybe she wants to do some type of research. You never know. On you. <laughs> Who knows with her, man. I wanted to know what was happening. Plus, I really wanted to see Alyssa's face when she finds her room empty. If she intended to lock you in there, obviously she had some other intentions. I'm, I'm just probably guessing what they are. It's more like, but knowing what the way she is, you could completely misunderstood her inten understand her intentions kind of thing, as I always say. I hid in the bushes next to the house and waited. Oh boy, how's this going to go? After some time, I heard footsteps. Alyssa and Olga came to the house. Oh boy. You'll see everything for yourself. She opened the door and went in. A few seconds later, she ran back out. You know, I... And she yelled at her. And did they not see him? Like, I'm gonna guess. Is she, like, yelling at him to CG? It's like... She's got... Unless she's got her head kind of, like, down here. And then... Not really sure what to think of this uh, angle with uh, Oga here, but... And then you got Simba just kind of looking on. <laughs> I'm guessing that none of the, these two don't notice him here. I don't know. Lissa's face looked as if she just won the mouse catching competition. But at the last moment found out that it's not a real Olympic sport. Unless she actually suspects that, no, oh, he just disappeared. Oga asked skeptically. I did the right thing by closing the window after myself. Oh no, you know, I understand everything, Dretch Kyle, you and your roommate, every time uh, the same thing, haven't you had enough yet? But it's true, really, one story after another, Simeon in your cabin, Simeon harassing you, why do you keep lying, that's horrible. Damn, you're actually sticking up for this guy, I didn't expect that to come out of her. So... I'm not really sure what her intentions were here, but it's kind of refreshing to hear that. But then, it'll be the completely opposite story if she caught him in there, wouldn't it? Who knows? Lissa seemed really upset, and to my surprise, was not trying to argue. <laughs> on the one hand, it was funny to look at, but on the other, uh, I felt a bit sorry for uh, the bitch guy. <laughs> she deserves it, though. I mean, we don't really know what her intentions were. Oh, boy. Our leader finally finished her scolding her and left. Yeah, but this look tells me she ain't going to be too happy to see you. I would not want to be around her now. <laughs> yeah, I can tell she was bad. <laughs> she clenched her fist and trouble. Her face was flushed. It seemed to me that she was going to explode. Oh, boy. I sat in the bushes and laughed quietly. I think this is where you might want to come out, but you might want to stay hidden the two. <laughs> I don't know what would be the right answer for that. <laughs> I was wondering what was on her mind, and I came out of my hiding place, not afraid of being beaten. Oh, boy. So, what exactly did you want to show the leader? Me. Alyssa turned and looked at me with disbelief. After a moment, surprise turned to anger. You! You! Oh, boy. What about me? She calmed out a bit. I wanted to take revenge. Revenge for what? <laughs> That's my guess. Really, what did I do to this girl to want revenge? I'm trying to think of a few things, but uh, nothing's coming to mind unless I'm overlooking something somewhere. You beat me in cards. Oh, geez. So that's kind of her way of... 
<laughs> Here, you beat me in cards. You know what I'm going to do? What's that? I'm going to lock you up in my room, sneak you there somehow, lock the key behind you, <laughs> just bail. <laughs> That's funny, though. I always say, well, if you had ways to get, if I knew I was going to lose to someone in a card game, it's like, or knew I was going to beat them, it's like, well, you know what? You can have this stupid card game. I don't want you doing this. <laughs> I'm good. What a fantastic reason. <laughs> no doubt. I guess she hates losing kind of thing. I see. Maybe I should apologize to you. I asked sarcastically. Screw you. Oh, boy. She went into the house, slamming the door. Good boy. I wasn't angry at Alyssa. In the end, I'd expected her to do something like this. Anyway, I got through it without the consequences. You're kind of lucky, though. I was very lucky. Her confusion and embarrassment just made my day. Chuckling, I left Ka Alyssa's cabin, which was about to become my death trap. <laughs> what a funny music scene, I gotta say. I don't know. It's just... Uh, yeah, now, these other places, like I said, doesn't really matter uh, that much where you go now. Uh, but I'll show you guys one thing at the bus stop, which was kind of funny, though. It has to do with Miku. Because uh, these other places, you know, I don't really need to go to. Uh, since the the one has to do with Slavia and the other one runs into, um, I think it's electronic. Yeah, and I'm good about seeing the guy with his shirt off, so I'm good on that. The bus stop seemed to be a fine choice. A strange thought came across me, perhaps Shirk is in the same situation as me, and so he decided to run away from this camp. Maybe by the 410 bus. It could really turn out to be true if he came here by accident too. Although the chances of that are quite slim. But you never know. What if the bus would really come? However, I could hardly believe in that. <laughs> Indeed, I spent a couple minutes waiting at the bus stop, making sure that there were no signs of Shurik or anyone else here, and headed back to the camp. Somebody rushed out from behind the gates and bumped into me. The impact wasn't strong, so I just staggered. It's always Miku, because she's the one that'll bump into you quite oftenly. Because she doesn't pay attention where she goes most of the time. Miku stood in front of me and rubbed her brushed forehead. Looks like she's rubbing her cheek. Oh, sorry. It's alright. It's my fault. I was going to the music club, but got lost in thought about a new song, you know, thinking up the lyrics and music. I hadn't realized how I got here. So you don't have to apologize. Her words per minute rate obviously exceeded the recognition limits of my brain. I made an attempt to retreat promptly. Sure, sure. Gotta go, yeah, uh, you know. Oh, wait. I wanted to leave as usual without having to listen to her, but Miku grabbed my hand. Oh, boy. Her uh, grass gave me the creeps as I got a clear vision of an agonizing execution by another rap session. What? Can you help me a little, please? Just a teensy weeny bit. That definitely wasn't on my to-do list today. Well, I'd be glad to, but it's... Pity, please. <laughs> Miko looked at me with such puppy dog eyes that my heart started to melt. Ah... Uh, wouldn't it be a different kind of expression she'd have if, if she's giving puppy dog eyes? Wouldn't it be more like, I don't know, her eyes kind of doing a certain, like, you know, love expression, but in this case, they're kind of shining and sparkling? We're not really seeing any sparkling eyes right now. <laughs> I don't know. She told me wasn't going to let go of my hand. And what help exactly do you need? You accompany me. I kind of managed to accompany compass of my own. I can sing or play. I can't do both at the same time. Even our Richard Russo has her weaknesses. Well, you know, I can't really play any instrument. Never mind that. I'll show you everything. Come on, let's go. Uh, yeah. This is gonna not have anything to do with Miku, but when I do get to her route, I only showed it, wanted to show a preview of this for the time being, so some of you that already did Miku's route, well, only one sub that I have on my channel is, has played this game. But, well, maybe some, uh, one other person, maybe, uh, I think Silver might have played too, but I don't even recall. And, uh, Ladybug, but I'm not really sure. It's like, you got, some of y'all have some bizarre names, I gotta say. It's not, it's not really to it. My name, even my name, I have to say, is kind of bizarre too, so I guess it's really not that bad. <laughs> 
Uh, I guess we all have some strange names sometimes. I don't know. But, uh, yeah. But we're not going to do that this time around. But it is something that I am going to explore in the future. Uh, but for now, we're not going to do that. I just wanted to include it because I didn't show this the last time since, you know, I, I, I skipped this part because I was doing mostly Slavia's thing. And I also skipped the, uh, the part back there going to the boathouse, which had to do with Alyssa. So, being at this time, the second choice didn't really matter after the first one that I picked. I figured, you know what, I'll just include this anyway, just to kind of at least show a portion of it. And, uh, yeah. But, let's just say I kind of know what goes on when he goes back to this music place. And it's, there's some funny stuff that takes place back there. I don't know. But it's something I'm going to be saving for her route later on anyway. So I'm not really too worried about doing this all the way right now. You know, I should be searching for Shurik and all that stuff. Miguel looked at me with frustration. Just for a little bit. I was lost for words. She dragged me along with her. And she took you anyway. Probably nothing good will come of this. But the other way to get her off me is to wrestle my hand out of hers. Oh boy. But that wouldn't be very nice. Nothing bad would happen after all. Why are you so tense around her? I'm kind of curious of why this guy gets so freaked out whenever she gets around him. It's like, out of everybody in this camp, he acts the most strange towards her. And it's kind of like, he barely even knows her. Because, like, compared to, like, you know, the way he interacts with the others, it's like, when, it, when she's around, it's like he forces himself to not, like... I don't know. It's kind of a weird way of how he goes about it. It's like, it's something you actually get that, uh, you know, <laughs> that impression when he gets around her, you know. <laughs> I don't know. It's just kind of interesting, probably. And you end up going anyway. That's kind of funny. Within a minute, we were already standing in the music club. Oh, boy. Nika took a guitar. Yeah, have a look. Oh, boy. She sat down and started playing. I tried to follow her hands. The tune uh, seemed quite simple. It seemed quite easy to repeat it. Got it? Kind of. Let's try. I took the guitar and started playing. That didn't really work out. Let me show you one more time. She played much better than me. Wow. I mean... It sounds kind of interesting. I don't know. <laughs> Looking at Miku, I wondered. Of course, she was a chatterbox. She was naive and clumsy. However, she was extremely talented in music. Well, yeah. Try again. I managed much better the second time. Wow, that's much better. She smiled. It wasn't hard, in fact. Just repeated the same notes over and over. Just don't lose track. Start on my command. Okay. Ready? Go. <laughs> it was a saga Japanese. Go figure. Miku is Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> Frankly speaking, I didn't understand a single word, but Miku's singing was quite good. I mean, if the only thing that they kind of give this character is that she's Hatsune Miku is the fact that, you know, they, they borrowed those ideas from, you know, the Project Diva... You know, because that's pretty much where she comes from, you know, uh, as far as that, you know. Uh, but yeah. In fact, it was outstanding. I think it would have been kind of disappointing, a little bit of a disappointment if they didn't include those things here. Because since you already got a character with this kind of hairstyle, and you're going to call her Miku. Although, in this game, her name is not Hatsuri, though. There's a different name for her in this game, but... Uh, to, I guess they did it to kind of avoid copyright, but come on, man. Like, you look at this character, and even if she doesn't look exactly like Hatsune, the resemblance, the, you know, the appearance is there. I'm, I'm just saying, you know. I don't know. Yeah, music uh, probably is a very thing for her to dedicate her life to. So, even though they don't, they're not calling her Hatsune... They still had to probably get some type of permission to use this character. So like, uh, what could we do to put this character in our game uh, without getting some type of trouble for it? You know, I don't know. Seemed like it wasn't 
her who chose the music, but the music that has chosen her. Huh. The last half an hour presented Miku in a completely different light. Okay. Oh, thank you. Uh, did you like it? I finally managed it with the, you. With you. On my own, it's not so good. I had to mess up with the words or miss the strings. And it's just perfect with you. Thank you so much. You really have a talent, you know. Just to play like that without any preparation? Nope. It seems I changed my opinion about her too hastily. Thanks for the song. Gotta go. See you. Thanks for. <laughs> the rest of her words were left behind the door. I leaned on the wall of the club cabin and sighed. Mika's song was still playing in my head. <laughs> Lord. I went for lunch with mixed feelings, with a sense of accomplishment, and with a realization of time wasted. Well, so the scene kind of played out similarly of him going either way. But since we kind of tried to refuse her, though, uh, it's not going to win any brownie points for her. But she still kind of made you go along anyway, which is kind of funny. But that's kind of interesting because uh, the last time going through Slavia's route, Miku was barely even, you know, barely even a thought. <laughs> barely even had any moments up and towards, you know, like the last day where she kind of came around here. At least she's kind of showing up a little bit periodically here and there, which is kind of nice. So, uh, and that's what I'm trying to do, at least incorporate some of the other characters now because compared to the first time around, you know, uh, I wasn't trying to do that. I wanted to save them for some of their own routes, but sometimes it can be a little bit hard and tricky because you have to do some backtracking here or there. And sometimes you don't want to see the same scenes over and over because then that gets played out. So so that was kind of nice. The canteen was crowded. I could stay unnoticed. Oga called, called me. Samian, come with us. The cab leader, Slavian Electronic, were sitting at the four-seat table. I nodded and went to get my food. Okay, This time I had to spend several minutes in the queue. Today's menu didn't really differ from the other day's menus. The dishes looked the same at least. When I sat at the table and wished bon appetit to everyone, Olga Dimitrinova said, So, what are you thinking? About what? We searched for Sherrick all around. It's noon, and he's nowhere to be found. I took a note of the rhyme, but didn't want to point it out. We looked all over the camp. I went around around the neighboring forest. Olga looked at me. Okay. And I helped too. Did you, though? We must call the police. Maybe we should wait until the evening. I asked lazily. Maybe he went home. <laughs> Where would he go home? That can't be. Sure, it lives thousands of miles away. By train? The nearest station. She paused. It's far off. Now it was getting interesting. Every time the conversation reached a point concerning ways I could leave Sovianok, all the camp inhabitants started changing the subject. This is my guess, as they all realize that they're all in this camp. That's my guess. It's just the fact that none of them say anything about it, which I kind of find it kind of funny. Olga is usually the one that you would think that she would say something about that, but she stays clipped because they probably realize that they can't leave. It's kind of funny on that. How far is far? Really far. The camp leader looked at me, indicating with her expression that asking more questions was not advised. So we should go deeper into the forest. Maybe he got lost. Sure, it always takes a compass. Chimed in electronic. I wonder what else could be found in his magic vest, assuming he has one. If I were to get lost in the forest, the compass would be of no real use. Police. We should call the police in the evening. Not right now, at least. Okay, so you'll do it later? They were all silent. We should be able to find him before evening. We still have time. If he actually got lost, we have no time to lose. We cannot be sure. Then where is he? Where? There was some truth to the camp leader's words. Hiding the whole day just like that is suspicious. Why would he do that? Shurik seemed to me uh, to be quite a serious pioneer. Oyana would have been a better fit for this behavior. So there is good reason to believe that he was uh, gone. Not really. 
All that can be done has already been done. We just have to wait. Slavia, Electronic, and Oga look to be sorrowfully, but it's a word. I finished my lunch, took the tray back, and left the canteen. <laughs> they just thought they actually gonna let you go out there. That's kind of funny. It's still the first half of the day. What now? Don't know. The camp was drifting off for an afternoon nap. Only Genda stared at me through his glasses. Of course, he was staring somewhere else, but I had a feeling that he was constantly watching me. No, pretty much not. It's just your imagination on that one. I bet he knows where Shurik is hiding. He just can't say anything. <laughs> the disappearance of the cybernetic club's leader made me think. Maybe it's got something to do with my case. No. Oh, Pioneer. The news stood in front of me. I looked at her eye, curious. Go, take my place in the infirmary. I have an urgent call. Somebody is injured. I like the fact that how she just comes over here and just tells him, you know what, I need you to take my place. What am I going to do in there? I don't know anything about, like, you know, that kind of stuff, nursing and all that, you know. Don't ask me about, like, different medicines somebody can take. What if I give somebody the wrong shit, you know? I don't know. Me? Yes, you. Take the keys. The nurse threw me the keys and ran away. It's kind of funny how she just trusted him like that with that. Why me? Isn't there anyone else in this camp? What exactly should I be doing? What if something happens? That's a good question. But we kind of know that Viola is not human with two different color eyes. You know. Oh, what do I do now? I missed my chance to refuse. She didn't really give you an option, did she? I stood in front of the door uncertainly. On the one hand, there is nothing to worry about. I'll spend half an hour or so here, and she'll be back. But what if someone comes for actual help? With a broken leg or a head injury? Oh, boy. Let's forward a little bit of this, because there is going to be a choice coming up that has to do with uh, Alyssa, which is kind of funny. I don't even know how to perform CPR. Okay, let's see. Lena is going to be the first one that comes in here, though. Can only imagine there's a magazine, yeah. Seems like I'm already imagining Slavia in my world. With me, and not only Slavia. This is what I'm talking about. You're on somebody else and pursuing a different girl's route, and you're thinking of Slavia. I haven't even did any any points for her. That's kind of funny on that. This dress better suits Ilyana. This cute seraphine would look good on Alyssa. This skirt and cardigan would look nice on Lena. Okay. All right. Let's go here. It's alien to me. I'm just waiting for a chance to get out of here. Waiting because nothing is up to me anymore. I sigh, put my head on the table, and fell asleep. Oh, boy. Yeah, you're going to get woken up, aren't you? I was awoken by the noise of the door opening. Lena stood at the door. The nurse is in here. Then I'll come back later. I'm substituting for her. Since I am responsible for Pioneer's lives, I should do it with full responsibility. Although, in fact, I was just afraid of something bad happening because of me. Any health complaints? Uh, I tried to give Lena the most professional smile I could in order not to confuse her. Uh, nothing special. Just a little headache. Let's do this. Some painkillers, maybe. Of course, I wasn't aware where to find required medicines, so it took me a while to find them. Finally. I handed a metabazole tablet to Lena. Thanks. She smiled. Hey, let me do some forwarding because there is a choice that's going to come up here with her in a second. That I'm going to be declining. Uh, let me see. Ah. Okay, I don't know any Russian, so... But apparently, uh, I have words that says, I think you'll... I think you'd look gorgeous in it. So I'm guessing that's what this Russian says. So we're actually going to go the other way. Just like I did on Slavia's part. If we were pursuing her, that would be the choice that I would be going with. But since we're not, now it's Oyana. I think you have a choice coming up here. Why on earth would I tell you? Where is the nurse? Right in front of you. I laughed at this the last time, so like, because I didn't realize that I forgot that she kind of handed him keys, and I'm like, what are you doing here anyway? It's like, and I had him crossing his legs. Kind of funny, though. 
I better go. It'd be better to die than be treated by you. Oh my goodness. She smiled mischievously. You didn't even let me try. I got a thought for a moment. Then you can give me some pills. What's bothering you? It took her some time to reply. A heavy stomach. Sure it's not an empty head. Good lord. I muttered under my breath. What did you say? Nothing. Give me a second. I found the pills in the first drawer I opened. Thank you, doctor. She smiled cheerfully. Watching you know, Yana, I cannot imagine how such an optimistic and active child could have any health problems. You'd be surprised, bud. Overdose of stolen candies, right? Got food poisoning from the canteen. So let me take a look at that real quick. Uh, okay. So we're actually going with the top one here. She gave me a baleful look. <laughs> no, I left everything for you. Oh, yeah, the candies. That's funny. Now we got another one with Slavia, because she's going to be coming in next. Oh, hi. Is it the nurse here? No. Uh, she's not here. I'm taking over for the day. Great. I'd like... She hesitated. What? No, it's nothing. Strange. I wouldn't even think that such an open person as Slavia would keep something quiet. If there's nothing bothering you, tell me. That's why I'm here, to treat people. <laughs> I smile widely. No. I mean, yes, but no. Hearing that made every anything possible, even division by zero. So, how can I help you? You? I guess she can't. She smiled and was going to leave, but suddenly stopped. However, could you step out for a minute? Why not? Okay. I stepped out of the infirmary and leaned against the wall. I wonder what might she be doing. Something that I can't even see. Oh, yeah, this is, uh... And I like the last time where I didn't ask about the bundle. Cause, well, actually, I did show it a little bit in Slavia's route, though. Just to kind of see what would happen to it. Go to the boathouse. But we're actually going to ask about it. What is it? Nothing. It's kind of funny. She blushed. Thank you. You're welcome. It's kind of funny is that this scene with this whole bundle thing never got addressed, though. Even when we didn't really ask about it. I thought maybe the game would just kind of, you know what? We'll, we'll reveal whatever was in that later. But just not right now. <laughs> but for some reason, nothing came of it, though. I look at the time. Okay, so here's, uh, listen, this is the last choice, and after this is what I'm going to call part. Suddenly, the door burst open, and Alyssa rushed inside. She looked at me piercingly. What are you doing here? Sitting. I admit it honestly. Okay, then. It's even better without the nurse. <laughs> she murmured. Good lord. Are you sick? I asked acidly. This girl's sick? No, she probably has other intentions going on with her, didn't she? Alyssa didn't answer and came closer to me. Move over. Why? So I could open the jaw, isn't it obvious? What for? She got angry. None of your business. Oh my goodness. Well, I since I kind of knew and suspected what you wanted this for the first time around, now I'm going to be curious what's going to happen with that. Well, I'm kind of in charge here. She gave me a moment's thought. Then give me a sit back to Benny Carbon. Stomach ache? Yeah. Yeah, right. That kind of look? Come on now. You trust that? <laughs> she got something else on her mind. <laughs> she grinned sharply. I got the feeling there was something wrong here. Yeah, okay. We're gonna... I like the last time, though. We are actually going to give her this, though. But what that's gonna lead into is me uh, going and for the next time when I fire this game up. But we are actually going to give it to her because I'm curious how this is going to go. But you never know. What if she really has an ache? No. Yeah, she's got a different kind of ache. It's a fire ache. But that'll be coming next time. That's funny. I reached into the drawer and got a, a packet of activated carbon. Thanks. 
She wrestled it from my hand and ran away. And now this is where I'm going to call a part because that just dealt with everybody back there. So, all right. So, uh, it's not going to be too long because if I have time, I may, I may do another part today. If not, I'll do another part maybe tomorrow or the day after. But you guys kind of like when I upload them. So at least it's not all in one shot. So, that way you guys can see whatever you want. So, all right. So, with that. I will see you guys next time.